Well, tonight we host the, the District 7 um, budget input meeting tonight here at the St. Paul Community Center. And tonight was about uh, presenting the proposed budget to the residents of District 7. Um, we got a lot of great feedback, uh, and I'm uh, always appreciative of their um, very insightfulness about what the, the priorities are in the neighborhoods, whether it's economic development. I, I heard comments about uh, workforce training, investment dollars. Um, I heard, I heard uh, folks not really too keen about the, uh, the streetcar. Um, so we just got a lot of feedback. Uh, this is still kind of an ongoing process that we've got to take back to city staff and the city manager. Uh, I just want to make sure that this budget reflects my district and the city. Okay, okay thank you. Um, and and did you hear some areas? You did hear some areas where people were thinking about cutting, and um, and I heard an awful lot of support also for things like the library. Right? I, yeah, absolutely. I, I heard that loud and clear as well. You know, folks wanted to, to see redundancy eliminated, uh, look for more efficiencies where we can find them. You know, everything from cutting travel costs to uh, eliminating positions that aren't needed. Um, those are certainly things that, that, that uh, we're going to look at. Um, I saw tremendous support for our libraries. Um, I think folks realize that, that uh, the library services are very important in the community. They do a lot of good. Um, so I want to make sure that we don't we, we, we get to minimize um, the the impact of some of these services that are that are potentially could be eliminated. We we, we have to. Yeah, I have a question. Well, we've been hearing a lot at the last three uh, budget hearings is people are talking about abatements. So what power does city council actually have? We do. We, we, we do offer um, economic development incentives and abatement um, tools that are available to, to folks. Um, so we, we do have a say in, in how much and what we can allocate for that. On the other hand, things like construction of libraries and stuff, uh, the, that bond, that's bond money. That's not from yeah. current operations. More often it'll be, yeah, it'll be bond money, it'll be um, in capital dollars that we identify. Um, I did hear, you know, there were some folks that talked about maybe libraries consolidating, going more towards technology and e-books. Um, I certainly think that that's, you know, something to consider. Uh, a lot of us are, are more mobile now. Um, so I think that there are some ways that we can find efficiencies but still not take those core services that folks depend on. Uh, that's important. And you got a really good crowd of people that were really diverse, age-wise and everything. Absolutely. We got a, we had a great crowd of, of uh, all ages. We had you know, some high school students here. We had um, folks my age and we had our seniors here. So great group, great mix. A lot of great ideas floated around the night, and uh, it, it's 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 exciting actually. I, this is what I, I love. I love to hear feedback from folks. Uh, it, I, I thought it was civic engagement at its finest. Um,